Wide receiver Gabe Davis has reportedly signed a three-year deal with the Jacksonville Jaguars that's worth $39 million with a chance to earn up to $50 million, according to Ian Rappaport. And with the deal, Davis becomes the second former Bill to join the Jags today as he'll join center Mitch Morse in Jacksonville. So now we have a duo of former Bills players going to Jacksonville to play with the Duval team. Jacksonville's looking a little bit like the Jacksonville Bills right now, so we're going to break down what exactly this Gabe Davis signing means for the Jags. But if you haven't yet, I encourage you to take a moment to subscribe to the channel, check out other content on the Bills Bunker. We're in the middle of an NFL free agency frenzy, and I'm going to be breaking down a bunch of moves throughout the day. Whatever happens with the Buffalo Bills or some of our former players, I'll be right here breaking it down. Stay tuned for more content coming your way. If you haven't yet, click subscribe. So Gabe Davis is a 24-year-old wide receiver who, he's been big for the Buffalo Bills in some big-time moments. Obviously, you look at Davis and his history with the Bills, that four-touchdown game against the Kansas City Chiefs, one of the biggest games you've ever seen from any wide receiver in NFL history. That was impeccable. Gabe Davis, he has the nickname Big Game Gabe because he he tends to step up in the big time moments in big time games when you need a big touchdown reception he's usually the guy that you go to he's usually one of those go to guys and he tends to make big plays at big time moments but he's been rather inconsistent as he would just disappear at times for the Bills and people really harp on him a lot for that but the thing about Gabe Davis is his playing style, that that's going to be a common thing. And I don't think it's just a thing in Buffalo. This is probably going to translate over in Jacksonville as well. You're going to see games where Gabe Davis just doesn't get the ball because he's a deep threat. He's not really someone who runs short routes effectively. You need to get him the ball deep down the field in order for him to play his best. At 24 years old, Davis is a great deep threat physical wide receiver, but he has his limitations. Like I mentioned earlier, he's not very good at running short routes. You got to target him deep down the field, and I think that's something that Trevor Lawrence should be able to do effectively. But when you look at the market value of Gabe Davis, the contract worth $39 million with the chance to earn up to $50 million. It's actually pretty spot on, and I know it sounds crazy because Gabe Davis, any other year, he's probably not getting this much money. It's due to the lack of wide receiver talent in this free agent class. Gabe Davis is one of the top free agents at the wide receiver position, and then it's also due to the fact that you look at what's happened with the NFL increasing their salary cap, obviously, if you're a wide receiver free agent, you're going to demand more money because you can. Davis had some great moments with the Buffalo Bills, but due to the team's salary cap situation, it just didn't make sense to bring back Gabe Davis. At, and he's just 24 years old. So this guy is going to have a long career in the National Football League. He's got three years under contract with the Jaguars. Getting paid. He deserves to get a payday. I'm happy the Bills didn't give him this contract, though, because... As I mentioned, they can't afford it, but even if they could, I wouldn't want to give him that much money. You got to look to add other pieces on this Bills team. You have some glaring holes at other positions, and I want the Bills to add a wide receiver through the draft. One of those top wide receiver targets, like a Brian Thomas Jr. Gabe Davis, he has his limitations, and... I think I've seen enough of him in Buffalo's offense, so it's going to be interesting to see how he's utilized with Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars. He has a lot of upside, especially in those pivotal moments in a big-time game that I'm sure the Jaguars are going to find themselves in a few of those in the AFC South, a really competitive division, but there's just too many times he disappears, and I know it's because of his playing style, but for me... With this Bills team, I think it, they're better suited finding a player who can, who can, who who's more diverse in his abilities. But I want to know how you're feeling about Gabe Davis joining the Jacksonville Jaguars along with Mitch Morse. 
the Jacksonville Bills down there in Florida. Let me know how you're feeling about these two guys leaving and joining the Jacksonville Jaguars. And let me know, is there a player that you want to see the Bills target in free agency? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, make sure to stay tuned for more content coming your way. Click that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time new content's being released right here on the Bills Bunker. I'm Jake Varco. This is the Bills Bunker. Goodbye, Gabe. Go Bills.